Hello guys, in this video we'll see what is the use of Java P tool. So if you have ever used a, a CMD prompt to compile Java files, so in order to compile a Java file what we do is we use uh, Java C, right? So what is this Java C? Java C is the Java compiler which will convert your Java code into a byte code. So let's say if I have a file called as abc.java, just to verify if this file I have here. Okay, so I already have a file which is abc.java here. And now if I say java c, abc.java, and enter, it will create a file. Oh, there's a problem here. Okay, let me create a new file just to demonstrate this. So let me say notepad. Okay, I have notepad here. And let me create a class called as, let's say, pqr. And in this PQR class, let me define a constructor. So we'll say public PQR. Okay. And then we'll say nothing, just a blank thing, or just to print something. So we'll say uh, system.out.println. And here let me print hello. Uh, let me define some variables also. We'll say int i. And uh, a blank method will say public void show. Nothing will be defined here. Just uh, empty braces. So I have this class and let me save this class in again E drive in, in Java codes and let me name this as pqr.java okay and just to make it we'll make it public. Save. Now so I got this class which, in which I have a constructor and a method which is show that's it nothing else. And in this PQR, what I'm doing is I'm just printing a statement which is hello. It has a variable. Now, uh, so once you say this, let me say dir, so you can see we have a file which is PQR here. Okay, PQR.java. Now, in order to compile it, so we'll say PQR.java. So, Java C space PQR.java, when I say enter, so it is compiled, right? So, once you compile this file, it will create a dot java file a dot class file so in order to convert from dot java to dot class file we use java c okay so that means we can fetch the class file from java file using java c can we get a java code from dot class file you know there have been there have been a lot a lot of debate that some people say you can't because you cannot convert a byte code into a java code that's the security we get but some people says no we can get uh, the byte code or the Java code from the byte code. They say it is possible with the help of Java P command. Now, question is what is Java P? So, Java P is basically used to get the structure of your class. It will not give you the exact code, it will just give the structure. Okay, so when you say you can't retrieve the uh, Java code from the class file, you are right. But if you say you can get the, the uh, the, the Java file from the class file, again, you're right, it's because you're not getting the exact data, but you're getting the structure. What I mean by that is, if I say Java P, space the file name, which is PQR, and if I say enter, so you can see it is giving me the structure. I have a class public, class PQR, it has a variable int i, it has a constructor and a method. No definition, just the structure. Okay, and that's the advantage of this Java P command. So, uh, do we only get the user-defined classes? We can also get the structure of pre-built classes, like we have object class. So, object class belongs to this java.lang package. So, we'll say java.lang.object, and if I say enter, it will give you everything, all the, 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 the structure of your object class. So, it has all these methods. So, you can see we have public class java.lang.object, it has a constructor here. It has a method get class hash code equals. So it has lots of methods. Okay, so you can debug or you can get the structure of any class you want with the help of Java P command. Simple. So we use Java C to compile from a Java file to class file, and we use Java P to get the structure of your code from the dot class file. So that's it from this video. So I, ho I hope you got the idea about Java P. Uh, thanks for watching and do subscribe for the further videos.